learning just how big an area drug bust is. Authorities now say around 10,000 marijuana plants have been destroyed. And up to 300 pounds of harvested marijuana has been seized. And it appears the operation's leader is in custody. And the drugs we're talking about are worth an estimated 10 to 50 million dollars. And as we first told you at 5 o'clock, four more people were charged this afternoon in federal court, including a suspected leader. Bernabe Nunez Guzman was charged with conspiring to distribute and manufacture more than a thousand marijuana plants over the last three months. The complaint against the so-called boss says police believe he played a leading role in the marijuana operation in which arrests have been made during the last couple of days. Fox 11's Becky DeVries has more tonight. Wednesday evening, police and drug task force agents entered the home where Bernabe Nunez Guzman lives. The following day, Nunez Guzman was in federal court, facing one charge of major involvement in a marijuana operation. Nunez Guzman owns this home on Highway 54 near Seymour. On Tuesday, agents arrested four men while a Fox 11 crew was nearby. A total of nine people were arrested in the area that day. Court documents show there was marijuana in nearly every room of the home. When Fox 11 spoke with Nunez Guzman on Wednesday, he said he didn't know much about the arrest that had been made at his property and didn't know where the people living there were from. The criminal complaint against him tells a different story. It says one confidential informant who was arrested at a Seymour home says several months ago someone arranged for him to travel from California to Green Bay, where he was met at the airport by Nunez Guzman, who was known as Green Bay. The informant told police Nunez Guzman took him to a home in Seymour where he worked on a marijuana operation. The informant said Nunez Guzman was the boss of the grow operation and another worker told him Nunez Guzman arranged for workers to come to the area. Another confidential informant was arrested in Seymour and told police a man known as Green Bay came to the Seymour residence about once every 15 days to check on the marijuana operation. The second informant also told police Green Bay recently moved firearms that were kept in marijuana fields to a Seymour residence. The complaint against Nunez Guzman says Green Bay said that the firearms would be better served protecting the Seymour residence now that marijuana was being dried at that location. Nunez Guzman is not only the owner of this Seymour home, he runs various businesses, including this Green Bay restaurant. And the complaint also alleges Nunez Guzman provided workers with cell phones so he could be in close contact with them. Authorities have not commented specifically on Nunez Guzman's case. I talked with a few people tonight who know Nunez Guzman. All of them were surprised. One said that Nunez Guzman seems like a model citizen and he's hoping the accusations in the criminal complaint are not true.